Hi everyone, it's Vicky here and welcome back. Today I'm happy to guest design for Altenew and I have created two projects. So let's start with the first one. For my first project I'm going to create a flower card and uh, I'm going to use this stamp set by Altenew which is called uh, Adore You. This is one of my favorite stamp sets from uh, their releases because it comes with so many different designs of flowers as well as leaves. So I'm going to pick some of them, I'm going to place them on top of my Misty and I'm going to stamp the flowers and the leaves by using permanent ink. I'm going to use my watercoloring markers to do the coloring and that's why I need to make sure that uh, the black ink is not going to smudge or smear. Of course you can recreate this card by using your favorite coloring method but I decided to go with a watercolor look today. So as you can see I'm using my Zig Clean markers. I'm going to apply three different colors and I'm not going to blend them out with water. Instead I'm just going to blend uh, three colors one after the other together. So this is how I colored my first leaf and I'm going to let you see how I did a second one and that's the exact same uh, technique that I used for all my leaves. So I'm uh, first starting with the darker color then I'm moving on to a middle color and you see how nicely they blend together and I'm going to finish off at the tip of my leaf with the lighter color. Now for my flowers I used the exact same technique of blending uh, those two colors directly on my image without adding any water. As you can see for my flowers I only used two different shades of pink and I'm blending them directly on the petals. And you can tell that I have uh, stamped many flowers and many leaves. At this stage of uh, my project I didn't exactly know the amount of flowers and leaves that I am going to need for my flower composition. So I always like to have uh, enough on hand in case I need them. And if I end up having some leftovers I can always create a second card. For the center of my flowers I combined uh, a little bit of uh, yellow with a touch of orange. And when I colored everything, I went ahead and used my Big Shot machine to run them through with the matching dyes. So you can see I am popping out the leaves and the flowers here. And now I am ready to create my flower composition. Now I have uh, previously played a little bit with all those flowers and leaves and uh, tried to decide where everything is going to go and how my bouquet is going to look. So on some of the flowers I am going to add foam tape at the back for some dimension while on other flowers and leaves I'm going to stick them directly on top of my card base with my tape runner. This way I am creating some depth and dimension. The piece of uh, cardstock that I'm working on is slightly smaller than a standard card so it has the length of the standard card that's uh, five and a half but the width is slightly smaller so this way I will end up having some uh, narrow borders on each side left and right. Now I have uh, two tiny little flowers that I want them to stick out of this flower composition and uh, I need stems for them. So for that I grabbed uh, the same watercolor paper that I used to cut out all those images and I also grabbed this uh, Zig Clean Color Marker. This is one of the colors that I use for coloring the leaves and I'm just going to cut out a thin strip. Now this is uh, going to be the stem for my two little flowers but as I am going to cut it out and place it on top of my card I will decide that this is quite thick for the size of those tiny little flowers. And that's why I used my scissors to make it even thinner and I think uh, that size matches perfectly my little flowers so I can go ahead stick uh, those two stems down and complete my flower composition. And as I wanted a big bold sentiment for my card, I decided to use the Hello die. This comes from the envelope liner die set. And I wanted to have my Hello stand out against the background and have a nice bold sentiment. And that's why I decided to go with black cardstock. I used white glue at the back and then I'm going to stick that at the very bottom of my panel. Now to bring everything together I brought this pattern paper. This comes from this uh, paper pad by Altenew and it comes from an Altenew card kit that's called New Day. 
I have cut out the pattern paper to be four and a quarter by five and a half, and that that is going to cover up a standard card. Now, at the back of my panel, I added some foam tip to add a little bit of dimension, and as my panel is slightly narrower than the pattern paper, it's going to give me nice border on its side. I have created a top folding card that's four and a quarter by five and a half and I'm going to cover up completely the front with my panel. And I look through my stash to find the card base that could match perfectly the colors of the leaves and those watercolor borders that I have on each side. Now to finish off I'm going to use my Nouveau Jewel Drops and I'm going to add some uh, dots here and there. With the green one I'm going to add some uh, drops on top of the leaves and with the yellow one I'm going to add uh, some shine at the center of my flowers. So this is the first project for today. Let's take a quick look on a couple of close-up photos of this project, but you will find more close-up photos at the end of this video. And let's move on to the second and last project for today. For this card I'm going to use the Fresh Fruit stamp set and I'm going to go with the pier there. So I'm going to place it on my Misty. And that's just because I want to stamp the image again and again on top. So first I'm starting with a light green color and that's actually Twisted Citron. As you can see I get a great impression. Now I am going to clean up my stamp and I am going to go ahead and use a darker color of ink and that's peeled paint. But this time I am not going to apply ink all over the stamp but only on one side. So once I stamp again on top you will be able to see that I got some shadow. Now again I am going to go back to the first color and I am going to use again Twisted Citron which is going to help uh, the inks to blend nicely. Now I was happy with how this looked at this stage, so I will go ahead and bring in a third color and this time I am going with Distress Oxide Vintage Photo and I'm going to touch up the stem of my PR as well as a little bit on the sides. And I'm not going to add as much ink as I did with Peeled Paint, so I only have a light a brown shadow on the sides. So I'm happy with how my PR looks and I'm going to go ahead and do the second one. I have zoomed in for you so you can see better and I'm going to repeat the same process. So I'm starting with uh, Twisted Citron, getting a great impression there. I'm going to clean up my stamp and I'm going to move on to the darker color that's Peeled Paint, touching up only the sides of my PR. You can stop here or you can add a second layer if you wish so. And now I'm going to clean up my stamp and then again go back to the lighter color that's Twisted Citron. And I'm doing that because it's going to help both those colors to blend together nicely. So I don't have such a sharp uh, shadow. Now I'm going to clean up my stamp again and lastly I'm going to add a touch of brown at the stem of my pier as well as on the sides. And again I'm not going to add as much of ink as I did with peeled paint. You can leave those images as they are or if you wish so you can go over them with a water brush and just lightly blending the colors together. This is totally optional, it would look uh, beautiful either way. So now I'm going to go ahead and use the matching dies to cut out those pears. I have placed it on my big shot die cutting machine, I'm going to run it through and then I will have to do it one more time to cut out the second one. I'm also going to use this uh, die cut word that says love and this comes from the script words die. And I'm also uh, going to use this tiny little red heart that I have cut out by using the tiniest of those dies and this is actually the set that's called Halftone Hearts Nesting Die. Now I'm going to bring my pattern paper here and this is the same paper pad that I used in the previous card and I went with the yellow pattern paper just because it gives that watercolored look. So it's time to assemble my card now. 
I have played around a little bit with my cutouts to decide where everything is going to go. So for the first image I used a tape runner at the back. For the second one I'm going to use foam tape and this is going to add a little bit of dimension on my card that I really love. And finally I'm going to use some uh, white glue at the back of my word cutout. And I'm going to nest it just next to my other focal points. Now for the little tiny heart, I'm going to add a touch of uh, white glue on top of my PR there. And then I'm going to stick it there. And I feel like that uh, touch of red on top of uh, my card really makes the card. Now I am going to finish off uh, the sentiment by stamping one more sentiment from the same stamp set as the fruits. And uh, that says we make a great pair. And I'm going to stamp that on top of uh, black cardstock. I'm going to stamp it with Versa marking and then apply my white embossing powder. I am going to heat set it and then I am going to use my paper trimmer and cut out a very thin strip out of this sentiment. I am using my tape runner at the back of this uh, strip of sentiment and I am going to nest it just below the word love. Now I'm going to show you one thing that I love about uh, the Altenew tape runner. So I'm placing my sentiment there without pressing it too hard. But I uh, realized that it was uh, on an angle. It's not completely straight. I brought out my T ruler there so that I can make sure that everything is nice and straight. I was able to peel it off and then place it again totally straight. And now I'm going to press it and it's going to stay put. I'm going to cut off the excess and my main panel is uh, finished. I'm going to add some tape runner at the back of this panel and then stick it on a standard card that's four and a quarter by five and a half. I made sure that my panel is quite smaller, about a quarter of an inch smaller from each side. And this way I get a white border. And here is the final touch. I'm going to add some glitter on top of my little red heart. And this is going to finish off my second card. So here are some close-up photos on the two cards that I made for today. Thank you all so much for watching and a big thank you to Altenew for having me today as a guest. I hope you all had fun and got inspired and don't forget to leave me a comment and let me know which one of those two cards was your favorite. Thank you all for watching and see you next time.